Hey guys, today I'm working with an Amana washer and electric dryer matching set. Right now I've got the washer going on a normal load. Pretty full there, jeans, towels, that kind of thing. You can hear it agitating. It's got a nice strong agitation. And next I'll show that the water drains out like it's supposed to. And then once we get to the final spin cycle, you'll see that it spins nice and fast and smooth. Kind of the purpose of this video is as if you were standing here yourself testing it out, you get to see that everything works great. And like I said, you can see it's filled up with water. It's doing a real good job getting everything nice and clean. And uh, the washer gets a 28 point inspection. The dryer gets a 22 point inspection. Everything electrical, mechanical, it all gets checked and everything has to work perfectly before it leaves my care. So we'll let this finish up. We'll come back for those uh, draining and spin cycle. And when we're all done, we'll move over to the dryer. All right, moving into the rinse cycle. It's draining out that water. You can hear it draining the water out nice and fast. So we'll let it go ahead and go through the rinse cycle and we'll come back for the final spin. All right, and we're back on the final spin. You can see in here that it's spinning nice and fast. Sounds great. Then I'm gonna go ahead and lift the lid up, which will kick in the lid switch and shut it down. But that way you can see it's spinning nice and fast. That's gonna be it for this guy. We'll let it finish up and move those clothes over to the dryer. All right guys, now I've got those clothes going in the dryer. I'll show you here real quick. Nice heavy load there. Got it on time dry, which is your high heat. Just hit go. You see it's got nice smooth operation. Sounds great. And I'm gonna show you that it is in fact heating like it's supposed to. So right in between those two red dots, we're taking a surface temperature measurement in Fahrenheit, obviously. And you can kind of see the difference between the machine and the floor there. Go ahead and open this up and shoot it right inside the heating element tube. You see plenty of heat coming out of that tube there. Take a couple pictures for the ad. So th this tube can get pretty hot. Right behind here is the heating element. But the inside of your dryer is only going to get from about 95 up to 195 to dry your clothes. And that just depends on what you have the heat setting at, which is controlled right up here. You have high heat, no heat, low heat. And then your high heat, mixture of high heat and low heat on an auto setting. So it just depends on whichever one you want to use. You just set it and let it go. So now you know everything works great on both the washer and the dryer. I'll get these listed up for sale. And I do appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks and have a great day.